Today I'm opening up the June Premier Palette Full Pack box. They actually have three different tiers with three different prices. So if you're interested in those, I'll have a link in the description to see if one of those is something you might be interested in. Anyway, we're going to open it up and see what's inside. The first one I ever opened of these had red paper and it was so pretty. But these are the... <laughs> Everyone always says they look like maggots. <laughs> Ooh, is that same Faber-Castell? Ooh, two of these. The first thing I found is this Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in blue metallic, and this one is in silver. The next thing I see is this Stabilo Cub... 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 Carb? Carb? Carbofello? <laughs> it looks like it's green. Next, next. This is the list of the things, but I don't like to read that because it's spoilers. Ooh, oh dang. It's a whole sketchbook. Is that black paper? Oh my gosh, I've never used one of these. Let's open this up right now. Oh, I just want to see. This looks different. Ooh. Okay, I've used a traveler's sketchbook before. I had like a purple one and a blue one. Yeah, usually I think they have pretty thin paper, but what is this magic? I love this. I feel like it should have like witches spells or something written in it. I could see it being like a potions book or like Snape's diary. <laughs> it's called the Midnight Sketch. Paper is 74 pound. Perfect for gel, glitter, and metallic pens and markers. Oh, that is so exciting. Wow. Oh, I just smelled it. Oh. <laughs> That is, oh, I'm very excited about that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Metallic colored pencils. Excellent for use on dark paper. Used to add highlights and depths to traditional colored pencil drawings. Pretty sharpened. Let's open that up too. Ah, I'll have to swatch those out and see what they look like. There's another thing. Ooh, this feels funny. General's chocolate, charcoal, chocolate, charcoal white. I don't have very good luck with white pencils, so we'll see about that. There's a purple! Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Maybe? Why does this one have three stars? Maybe because the purple knows it's a better color, so it doesn't need to have stars, and the green one's like, oh, I'm as cool as you. Look, I have three stars. Or it has something to do with pigment or color, or I don't know. But there's two of those. I don't think there's. Oh, there's a third one. There's a third one. He has one star. Okay, what does that mean? Maybe the paper will say. But yeah, it's the Stabilo Carbofellows. Carbofellows. Carbofello? I don't know. So there's three of those. A red, a pink, and a green. And the Signo Uniball Gel Pen in bro Broad. Ooh, where sounds like, I think I own this, but if it's broad. Oh, huh. I don't know if that's any different than what I have. Kind of hard to say. Here's the one I own. Oh, but it's not written in English. Oh, it says 1.0 millimeter. D -d 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 doesn't say. Why do you have... <laughs> Okay, I, I cannot tell if there's a difference. No, no, they look the same. I have no idea. I don't know, every time I buy one of these pens off the internet, it has a different case, I swear. They all seem to work the same. <laughs> we'll use theirs. And that is everything in the box. And if we read the actual list of things, they list <laughs> Traveler Black Sketchbook Paper Journal, the metallic, the pentallic metallic, colored pencils, 12 color tin set, the Uniball white gel impact pen, the Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencil set of three, Pit Artist metallic pens, silver and blue, and then the general pencil white charcoal pencil. Ooh, look at all we have things we have to choose from. I got distracted. <laughs> A little mindless doodling. All right. So I wasn't coming up with any ideas <laughs> this is the next day and I, this morning for my daily sketching, I was trying to come up with some ideas and this is kind of what I'm thinking I'll go with. Like a mech suit or something, that way I can use those metallic colors to draw something. And it's kind of inspired by an hourglass, which I thought was kind of interesting, like a giant mech suit but hourglass shaped. Anyway, so that was the idea that I'm playing on, so let's sketch some of that out and see what we can make, okay? None of the tools that they provided are like erasable. So I'm going in with this. I'm not very picky when it comes to mechanical pencils. If it writes and erases, <laughs> that's all I need, but it was around, so that's what I'm using. I can have a bowl cut. <laughs> you can actually see that on camera. That's cool. It's kind of harder for me to see. I shouldn't have drawn the head. I forgot to draw the body. What am I doing? I'm not even taking my own advice. That hourglass, giant guns, those big shoulders. I should divine define that shape a little better. I think Black Widow has like an hourglass on her, but her color scheme, or this chick's color scheme is going to be different, so I think we'll get along just fine. 
I don't know, I don't draw guns. <laughs> I don't know. Big utility belt with a sassy tilt. <laughs> Maybe a belt clip, something on these. Let me pull this arm over here. Take up some of this space. <laughs> like Mickey Mouse ears. Bye here. I'm having a hard time seeing it. <laughs> so this could look really bad and I would have no idea. How's that look? This is going to be a lot of experimenting. <laughs> Let's go over it with this light gray first. Just to color in the suit. I'm going to try and do it very lightly. Just so we can hopefully get some color in here and black out the shapes. It doesn't look like a different color at all. That almost seems lighter. Well, maybe it's reflective so it would be shinier down there. Drawing metallic or shiny surfaces is kind of new to me so this could be really fun to play with. Check my swatches. Oh, this blue. Oh, we could probably use this blue color for the waist. Oh yeah. I think the most confusing part about using these pencils like on the toned paper um, is just getting used to that what you're drawing is gonna be lighter because you know if you draw on paper like white paper <laughs> every mark you're making is in darkening the tone whereas with these you're lightening it and it's just it's a completely different experience and very confusing and hard to get used to so. but I'm trying my best maybe some purple hair Ooh. <laughs> a purple bowl cut <laughs> Kind of hard seeing a difference between the color pencils. They kind of all look the same. I mean, there's a slight variation, but that's about it. Can you even see the difference between that? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I can get like a skin tone out of this. I don't know. This might be risky. <laughs> Again, I'm falling for that. Uh, the part you've drawn is going to be what's lighter. So confusing. <laughs> I keep trying to draw where I want it to be darker. I have to keep telling myself, no, I need to add marks where you want it to be lighter. That's interesting. She kind of looks like she's made of gold. Probably because the pencil looks gold. I guess that's to be expected. Luckily, my design does not have a lot of skin on it. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Why did I just do that? It looks like she has a mustache. Why did I do that? Well, what if I give her white eyelashes now that we've kind of ruined her face? Might as well experiment. I don't hate that. Kind of like a cyborg. The gel pen's already dying on me. Oh yeah, Kedin. You're brand new. I wonder if I can do that with the hair too. Seem to have lost her bowl cut in here somewhere. Just ended up being a curly bob. <laughs> well, on camera that's like blown out. I guess it looks like that in real life. Yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble with these things. <laughs> Holy moly. I just don't love anything about this. I don't want to like complain about my own artwork or something, but this is really not going in any of the directions I envisioned. Look at that color. Oh, I love it. Because now that I've used it, I kind of want to draw something where I use the black paper as the line art. So like the absence of the drawing. So I might do that. Luckily, we have a whole sketchbook to work with. What if the main element of the illustration actually wasn't even, you know, colored in at all? So like if I drew like a face and then there's like hair, <laughs> hair, and then I could color all around it maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I really like that profile. I think that turned out really nice. It's a little too twisted for this body. For that body. Like a ooh, <laughs> sort of pose. <laughs> I'm not good with adjectives, I just make sounds. <laughs> just crazy hair. Crazy. Oh, I like that way better. Ooh, what if we put flowers in here? That would break up the blackness of the hair if I keep it all black. There we go. So we're gonna run into that skin tone problem. I don't have any skin tones. There isn't even like a nice dark brown. Or... Oops. What did we have? Yeah, none of these really work for skin. Ugh. Let's go over that again. There we go. Now I want to go in with some kind of color and outline the whole outside of it. 
is also a bad idea because it's going to be all over my hand as I work with the rest of it. <laughs> Oops. Now we're learning as we go. How's it looking? <laughs> I don't want to formulate any opinions. I'm having a real hard time with this. This is very much unlike anything I feel like I've ever done before. Do little swatches like this. More texture. Pull it out this way a little. Extend onto the next page. Next, we could probably do the flowers. I really want to use this one. Oh, I just realized I'm not going to be able to erase this pencil. I wanted to erase that pencil. I wanted the hair to be just solid black. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was. Mistakes were made. I just have to go over it again with the charcoal. Oh, what I wanted to do was use the black paper as the lines for the face. So, what we need to do here, well, I know I need the hair, the eyebrow. Oh, I forgot to use, leave lines for the ear. Oops. We're gonna lose a lot of detail in my lines <laughs> by using the outline shapes of them. So again, we want to put more pencil where we want it to be a lighter color, which is so confusing to me. I just can't seem to wrap my head around it. Wood, but it twirls so simple. I wonder if there's like a color I can blend into this. A little color too. Ooh, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Her eyes are going to be closed. <laughs> I didn't make that decision. The way too much skin in this design. <laughs> Whoops. I'll use this one for the shirt as well. Because whenever I'm really struggling, I try to limit my color palette. It makes it harder to make something ugly, you know? Sometimes having too many colors is the easiest way to just make a mess. Having two colors really helps with the skin. I feel like it's a little bit easier to work with. I'm going to leave some black space in there as sort of a line art. Wow, you really can't see much when I erase those lines. <laughs> oh boy. Not my best hand. <laughs> Maybe this hand will turn out a little better. Uh, better, better. <laughs> I really put way too much skin in this design. Why? Especially after what I learned from my last drawing. The skin doesn't really work with metallics. Not entirely sure how to blend pencils. I don't use uh, pencils as a medium, like at all. So if you have any recommendations on how to learn to blend pencils, let me know. <laughs> let me have it. I have to keep looking up at the camera because it looks so different than what it looks like here. It looks so much better in real life. <laughs> but I like the way the hair thing turned out. Her hands be outlined in there. Yeah, I ended up making all the same mistakes I did in the last drawing. <laughs> yeah. Why, world? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think these are my preferred medium. <laughs> but it was very fun experimenting with it. I think if I had some way, if I, maybe if I used like a ink, or like a pen here. Oh, well, I don't like that. I think I'll leave that hand white like that. I don't know, I think it's cool and random. But I kind of want to make her lips white because her lips just are not standing out to the point where I would like them to, so. There we go. We could give her some uh, jewelry. Maybe use this blue pen, or is that too? Might be a little crazy. Oh well. I just like the blue pen so much. <gasps> Maybe some earrings. <laughs> just, <laughs> just throw a ton of jewelry on her. Now this is starting to be fun here. I love vandalizing my own art. 
Here we go. What do you think of this? <laughs> I have a lot of opinions. But I think I'll keep them to myself. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to thank Palletful for sending me this box of art supplies to try out. And if you're interested in getting your own subscription to their monthly art box, um, I'll have a link in the description where you can check that out and uh, see which of the three boxes would be best suited for you. Um, yeah, this was a fun experiment. <laughs> a little frustrating, but it was fun uh, trying new supplies and seeing if I like them. I don't think I'm going to go out and buy more colors or anything, um, but this was, it was very fun and definitely worth a shot. Um, I think the coolest thing was just the way this black sketchbook, I just really, uh, I need more practice with it, I guess, but it was, I think I just love the way the black sketchbook looks. It's just so not like my other sketchbooks and like the black paper. Oh, yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a very delicious evening full of love. Bye.